is Terry Daly and I'm Executive Director of Guest Experience Brand and Marketing for Etihad Airways. Uh, I'm here in the brand new uh, Breitling Boutique in the Galleria Mall in Abu Dhabi and I'm in conversation with George Kern who is the CEO of Breitling. George, Breitling and Etihad have been partners since 2019 and I think it's fair to say that we both share a passion for aviation and precision. Um, why is Etihad Airways your choice of aviation partner for the region? It's one of the best airlines in the world. I mean, that's the natural answer. Historically, Brighton was always involved in civil aviation uh, in the 50s, 60s, 70s. We were uh, what we called at that time official timekeeper of many, many airlines around the globe. But uh, today the world changed. Many of these airlines do not exist anymore. New airlines came into the market. Etihad is a wonderful airline with wonderful uh, people and, 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 and management. And uh, we love working with them. Uh, and has, it has been great since day one. Well, thank you for your kind words. We love working with you uh, as well. Um, changing subject slightly, uh, Etihad was awarded Environmental Airline of the Year for 2022 in the Airline Excellence uh, Awards. Um, tell us more about uh, Breitling's own sustainability mission. I think no company uh, in the world, including airlines, can live without a strong, what we call ESG or environment, social and governance uh, policy. You wouldn't find uh, any investor investing in your company and uh, you wouldn't find, um, you know, a good customer base. So we all have to work on that. At Brightling, we work a lot in terms of sourcing, um, of um, packaging, uh, we work with recycled materials like Econil, which is made out of lost fishing nets, nylon uh, in the ocean. We, we work on sourcing of our gold. We, we work on the whole supply chain and the transparency of the supply chain for the cons consumer in order to show him what we're doing. We're not white, uh, we're certainly not black. And we what we try to do is to do the maximum we can in our sphere of influence but sustainability is a clear core value of our brand. I couldn't agree more. It is absolutely fundamental now uh, the world over. And I think the delicate balance is between um, what you say uh, and actually what you do. And I know, and from what you're saying, clearly it's taken very seriously. Um, we too in the airline, um, it's not about nice words. It's about actual solid actions within the sphere of influence, but also trying to influence other parts of the ecosystem uh, to go along with you as well. Staying on the subject of sustainability, uh, of course, we're collaborating here locally in Abu Dhabi as part of the 70th anniversary of the Nabataima. Um, firstly, in the uh, Etihad mangrove forest, we are planting 70 uh, mangrove trees uh, in celebration of that anniversary. Uh, and not only that, for every person of the uh, 250 limited edition watches uh, that are for sale, uh, they too will have a mangrove tree uh, planted as part of the, the offer. Uh, I'm sure you agree that this is a great collaboration between us that signals our commitment. No, we love that uh, uh, idea. Um, first of all, you have a local aspect. I mean, this is, is your plantation here in this uh, region. I think it's great. I think it's a great sign also for, for every customer who is, who is buying uh, such a product that something is, is being doing. And it's, uh, of course, it will not uh, save the planet here and now, but it's another signal. And whatever we do in, in an environment, uh, we have to spread the message. And we always have also to engage with uh, the customer. And all this fits very well. Uh, with a charity we are su supporting, which is called SUGI, which is basically uh, a foundation specialized and an organization specialized in reforestation around the globe, which we are supporting since uh, many, many years. So congratulations on that initiative, and we're very happy uh, to be part of that. Thank you. Um, I understand that Breitling's watches are divided into um, three brand universes. So there's air, land, and sea. Um, tell us about the latest releases in the air universe and the inspiration behind them. So we offer basically everything from a very elegant watch like the Premier 
to more professional watches for pilots, like uh, the emergency, for instance. Uh, in the, uh, of course, our biggest heritage remains air or aviation. We have three lines in that segment. We have the Navi Timer, as I mentioned, it is the ultimate watch developed in the 50s for civil aviation with the very famous uh, sliding rule you see here on, on, on uh, the, the watch I, I'm wearing. We have the very modern, tough, more mili military oriented uh, pilot's watch called the Avenger. And we have the classic uh, watches, the classic aviation watches uh, coming more or less from the Second World War called the uh, Avi line. Uh, this year, um, uh, speaking of the Navitimer, it marks the the seventieth anniversary of what has become uh, an iconic aviation uh, watch. Uh, to mark this occasion, Breitling has uh, released a limited edition watch that has been co-designed with Etihad Airways. Can you tell me a little bit more about this series? This series, indeed, um, has its seventieth birthday. It is an iconic watch because. Uh, of obviously of its design and its function uh, with this famous sliding rule which was um, launched and developed to help pilots preparing their flight and, and controlling their flight. Of course, as many of these functions which were um, the starting point of the watch industry many years back, you know, diving swatches, uh, what have you, or anti-magnetic watches for for in medicine, you don't use these functions in reality today mm -hmm. uh, anymore. But it is part of the history. It is part of the DNA of the watch and customers want that function. And the watch would not be like this without uh, that function. And yes, we developed, of course, a limited series, beautiful um, green special dial with beautiful hands in the colors um, also of, of Etihad. And we're very proud to have that uh, 250 uh, pieces limited series available in the market. Yeah, it's a great looking watch. Uh, congratulations with, uh, with what the team have managed to create. Um, long before Breitling devoted itself to watchmaking, the brand developed precision instrumentation for the aviation industry. Um, why do you think Breitling became such a household name in the, in the industry? It's, it's our history, our founders, you know, there were three Breitling uh, members of family uh, running the company uh, since roughly the 70s, uh, late 70s. Um, they were passionate technicians and passionate pilots themselves. Uh, Breitling is uh, basically known for the chronographs. Uh, Breitling developed the first chronograph on a wrist with many functions related to the chronograph we all know, we're all using since decades uh, in the industry. But at the origin, it was the Breitling family who developed all these technical innovations. And then because of the period of that time, uh, many functions were added in order to help pilots to better um, prepare their flights or run their flights. And that line of heritage has continued all the way of through. Of course, we're very proud about that uh, heritage and we continuously develop uh, new products uh, in that field uh, or renovate or modernize uh, existing products um, like the Navi Timer, uh, which in my opinion is, is today, not only because of the function, but because of the aesthetics, one of the most phenomenal products in the market. And I completely agree with you. Um, at Etihad, we're all about supporting our customer journeys. The relaunch of the Navitimer early this year was supported by the For the Journey campaign, and that was featuring the Navitimer squad. Um, why do you choose to work with squads rather than individual ambassadors? And what makes a good squad member? Yeah, so indeed, we, we believe in teams. I guess that Etihad is also also believes in teams and to uh, fly a plane, you need your pilots, you need your crew, uh, you cannot do it alone. And the same thing in, 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 in our industry, nothing can be done alone. So we've created advertising, uh, which basically put together three personas and uh, we can tell a much more complete story than just with one personality. So it is very different graphically when you see mm -hmm the campaign visually, but uh, it allows us again also to tell stories 
with men and women of different origins and different uh, life situations. And this is why we called that campaign we did for the Navi Time for the journey, because any of these uh, squad members had a different story. And um, it is another illustration of life and piloting through life and it's why we did that campaign yeah very good and you're absolutely right it is all about teamwork it's about how groups of individuals come together uh, and work together to deliver a, a brilliant result and it's also bringing that element of humanity into the yeah. into the the overall story as well isn't it yeah absolutely and 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 we tr in, in in this campaign we've tried to really um tell each personal story uh, of, of the squad member from a basketball player to a ballet dancer, everybody, every member here has an incredible personal journey they're describing in uh, our short uh, movies around the Navi Timer. 88 Airways, we serve 81 passenger and cargo destinations across Africa, Europe, North America, Asia and Australia from our hub here in Abu Dhabi. Um, how many destinations is Brightling currently available in and what are your expansion plans for the brand oh my god um i don't i couldn't even answer the question mm -hmm. the point is we are everywhere in the world we have representatives uh, all over the uh, the world we have our own subsidiaries in all of the big countries and uh, what is important for us is that we have the same quality be it in a smaller country as in in a, in a big country um and and this is what we guarantee and this is our commitment especially when we open boutiques we have the same products, the same limitations, same limited series, uh, the same service as in as any big country uh, in the world. I think this is what is important. Um, as I mentioned in the introduction, we're recording this podcast from Breitling's newest boutique uh, located in uh, Etihad's home city, Abu Dhabi. Tell us more about this unique boutique concept and the inspiration behind it. So indeed, we are in this Galleria um, shopping mall. It's a beautiful mall, very modern, uh, very convenient for uh, the customers with phenomenal brands. And we're very happy to be in this uh, environment. Of course, the setup is very typical to, to Brighton with this modern retro style, with this brick walls, uh, this industrial style we, we try to translate, which is very relaxed. We want to be the cool and relaxed alternative to the more uh, mm -hmm. I would say traditional and conservative uh, brands out there. And this setting, you know, with the motorbikes, with our pictures, where you experience this 360 of writing is something our customers uh, appreciate a lot. We had many customers walking in and asking if they can move in here. Um, they can move in here during the day, but uh, on Friday during the night, we have to close the doors. Yeah. And Breitling has been present in the Middle East for over 40 years. Um, what are some of your earliest memories from visiting this region? Obviously, I'm in the industry since uh, working in the industry since you know, 25 or nearly 30 years. And it, actually, when I was very young, I was in charge of the Middle East for another brand. Um, but um, always at that time, working with uh, Siddiqui, who is our operator here uh, in Abu Dhabi. And um, today I'm working with the son uh, of Majid Siddiqui. At that time, it was um, the father. And it's great to, to see that continuity, that professional uh, relationship. Uh, of course, both at that time in Abu Dhabi and in Dubai, it was totally different than from today. In my, it's incredible what um, these both cities and the UAE in general have uh, been able to develop over the last uh, 30, 40 years. It's absolutely unique in the world and, and chapeau to them. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. My, my time in the region started Oh, over 30 years ago um, and both in Dubai and Abu Dhabi and as you say it has been remarkable but isn't it lovely how that thread um, still continues through yeah. and some of the qualities that we all experienced then are still, still absolutely present. and 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 the, the 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 economic development is great um, the also now all the development in in, in, cult, in culture you know um, uh, in 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 museums, uh, in in art, uh, all this comes along very well, and um, it's fantastic. I mean, somebody here had a master plan, and that master plan was really good. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. And and uh, you know, one of our 
our great um, missions is to bring people here so that they can yeah. experience uh, everything that you've described, uh, which is built up over over many years. And uh, it is a really, really, really good uh, destination to come to. As the CEO of a global watch brand, um, I am sure that you spend a lot of time flying. Um, what is your favorite destination to fly to and why? It's a very difficult uh, question. Uh, I come to the Middle East at least three times a year. I love it um, because indeed the airlines are very good. I come very often also with, with uh, Etihad. Um, and you don't have a, such a big time difference with Europe. Mm -hmm. So Asia, for me, traveling to Asia is much more difficult. Um, also to the US. But I like to discover the world. So And it's part of the job. You need to feel the market. You need to, to meet people. You need to talk to customers. We're going to have a big event tonight here. Um, and this is important to, to, to get um, a sentiment on what is going on with the consumer, what the expectations are. Uh, so I have to travel, it's part of my job. And I actually love it because you always discover something new. Today I'm in Abu Dhabi and it was again a surprise versus what I've been uh, discovering just a couple of months or a couple of years ago. So no, it, it does enrich in a way your life. It's been an absolute pleasure speaking with you, George. Thank you. Thank you very much for the invitation. Thank you.